appears like this camp will never be finished. Whoa, where are you going? You want me to... Okay, I'll follow you. What you got there? Not for me. <clears throat> nice! Sneaky little sausage. Another present? Joriso, you're too good to me. Hey, not bad, Jorizo. You got stashes all over the place. You little guerrilla. Hmm. Clever boy. How do we win? Holding out on us, huh? Merda! You're really spoiling me. Does Philly know about all this? What am I saying? He probably helped you steal this shit. Gracias, Chorizo. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. a lot of risks for one lieutenant. Want to complain? You can swim. Nice boat. Is it yours? No, I stole it. Papa taught me how to hotwire tractors when I was a kid. Boats aren't so different. Hey, we have to get Carlos a doctor. Hmm. Good luck. He's coughing blood. He needs help. Papa took me fishing once. South of Costa del Mar. He's a hell of a rancher, but a shit fisherman. No patience. Couldn't cast. Kept snagging his line on the bottom. Even hooked himself in the lip. <laughs> Got so pissed he threw a stick of dynamite in the water. Killed a lot of fish, but also put a fucking hole in our boat. We swam five kilometers back to shore. All these boats stopped to help, but Papa told them to fuck off. What does this have to do with Carlos being sick? I'm saying that the day Carlos Montero gets help, is the day hell freezes over, Danny. Coño, you Monteros are stubborn. Not me, just Papa. <laughs> sure, sure. Shut up. Fucking tobacco. It was supposed to make our people rich. That's what Anton said anyway. See? That's how he got elected. Yes, and a lot of us voted for him. We believed in his promises. We thought it was going to be like the old days again. Like some kind of fantasy. We were so fucking wrong. If we want to change things, someone has to whip us all into shape. Bring us together. And it's not going to be Papa. Carlos doesn't have a plan. His plan is don't tell anybody what the fuck you're feeling, ever. Don't trust anybody either, especially your own daughter. Just fucking react to whatever Napoleón el Pequeño throws your way. 
is old school. Reminds me of my headmaster in the orphanage. Strict, tough as shit. But if he liked you, he had your back for life. Hmm. That kind of thinking is gonna get us all killed. We can't keep reacting to Jose. It's not working. We need to try new things. Be agile. Stay one step ahead of that little hijo de puta until he's dead. I'm with you. Good answer, Danny. Mexican. Tobacco out here has been vivido. Can't even smoke our own anymore. Come mierdas. Shit. ¿Qué pasó? Jose fucking Castillo. Anton's bitch of a nephew. Lo veo y no lo creo. What's he doing? He's, uh, he's... With the lieutenant we were looking for. It looks more like a scientist. It's the cause I have. No. We might hit the lieutenant. To know where that scientist is going. Let's search his place for intel. Let's go. Maybe his friend by the helipad can help. We were chosen by General Castillo to control his personal island. Go get them, Jason. That means you are going places. I guess you didn't hear about the only Jorizo, over here. on duty. It's tougher to find intel.
still gotta find intel on where that scientist went. It says Jose has a villa on the north side of the island. Let's go check it out. Maybe there's something that tells us where he went. Check the path. What kind of fucked up place is this? Think Jose's got a computer around here? Let's check in the house. Got eyes on an engineer. Found it! No password, idiota. Let's see what we got here. Chorizo! El Pequeño has a fucking torture chamber filled with outcasts. It's under the lighthouse just south of here. Cojone. Can you let me in? Done. I'll stay and see what else I can find. Suerte, Danny.
Gracias. José es a monster. Espada. José was using this place as his own little torture chamber. He had outcasts in there, but I freed them. Enfermo mental. I shouldn't be surprised. Good work, though, Danny. I found where that scientist works. The Singao we saw earlier. His lab's in Refmira. Meet me there. Okay. Then how are you gonna tell me what's really going on? You'll know when I need you to know. That's a good boy. <laughs> 